sorry, young lady, it's no use. You always lose when one arm is idle. Wait a minute. What have slot machines to do with war production? Simply this. In aircraft plants, there are thousands of one-armed bandits. Let's take a look. Here's the first one-armed bandit working on the tailwheel control assembly for the monocoque of the consolidated Volte basic train. Cables are attached by bolt and nut to each end of the spring. A safety cable is connected between, and the assembly is made secure with a cutter pin. Actually, she is working with only one hand. The left hand is being used merely to hold the spring, while her right hand is doing all the work. She is breaking a simple rule of motion economy. Don't use the hand as a holding device. And here is another one-armed bandit. She is placing spare fuses for the basic trainer in rubber fuse holders, which are then stowed in junction boxes in the ship. The holes in the rubber are cut undersized, necessitating a pressed fit, so the fuses will be securely held under vibration. Is her left hand doing constructive work? No. It is being used as a holding device and is idle. Watch these one-armed bandits. Three operators were required to maintain production on these intercooler clamp assemblies. Sixty-four clamps are used on every consolidated Volte Liberator bomb. Each woman is only using one arm for productive work, with the other arm idle while she is using her hand as a holding device. The ears of the hinge must be spread apart to allow for easier insertion of the pin. Notice the inaccessibility of the hinges and the disorganized condition of the workplace. The pin is then hammered into the loop of the hinge and through the hole in the eye bolt. The left hand not only holds, but must align the eye bolt to allow the pin to go through. one arm bandits? Yes. All right, all right. The hand should not be used as a holding device. Well, what can be done about it? A fixture should be used to hold parts during assembly. When this is done, both hands can work together and maximum production can be attained. Here's how these one-armed bandits were eliminated because vacations are over for left hands. A holding fixture has taken the bandit's place in this operation. Both hands are now working together. As the left hand positions one bolt, the right hand positions a cable. Parts are arranged in easily accessible locations. This is just horse sense motion economy. Always place the parts for an assembly near the center of work so they will be within easy reach of the operator. A nut runner suspended from an overhead arm has replaced the hand operated ratchet wrench. For the spare fuse assembly, a fixture eliminates the one arm bend. Instead of her left hand being used as a holding device, both hands are now working together. The rubber holders are placed in the lower part of the fixture, and the fuses are placed in the upper part. The pressure on the lever forces the fuses into the holders. Two assemblies are now completed at once. Now both hands are at work on the hinge assembly. This air-operated fixture properly holds the hinge, eye bolt, and pin. The left and right hands locate duplicate parts simultaneously. A foot pedal actuates the air cylinder, and a drop delivery chute disposes of the completed parts to a tote pan below the bench. In the spring and cable, fuse, and hinge assemblies you have just seen, the one-armed bandits have been eliminated by applying a horse sense principle of motion economy. Both hands should work together. Simultaneous motion can be easily achieved when one hand is not holding parts. Better utilization of man hours, so very vital to the war effort, can be achieved by the application of this principle. There are one-armed bandits in your department. Get rid of them now.
Are you still trying to beat that machine with only one arm? Haven't you learned about working both hands together for increased output? That's right. When you work with both hands, it really pays off.